So let's talk about um, question 13 C. Yeah, I tend to make mistake in the numbers you know. Let me let me let me try to check again. That but this should be question question 13 question 13 B 2. Okay. So the question is um, solve the equation cos 2x plus plus um, 3 sin x minus 2 is equal to 0. Solve the equation. The best thing here is you make this to be the same as sin. Now one thing we have to remember is uh, this is cos 2x. Cos 2x is the same as just cos x plus x. So that's where it's coming from. Okay, because x plus x is 2x. So now we can say that this is it is the same as cos x times cos x. If there is plus here, we put minus. That's what I said. So it will be now sine x times sine x. So if I add these two, I'll get cos 2x like that. And then this is going to be cos times cos is cos x squared minus sine x like that, sine squared x. Because sine x times sine x is see, sine squared. The next thing which I'm going to do is, since I want cos to disappear, only to remain with sine, I can also replace this in terms of what? Sine. I know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. If I shift sine to the other side, it will be cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So this will be cos 2x will be equal to, where there is cos squared x, I will put 1 minus sine squared x, but I also have minus sine squared x. So I have just replaced cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. These two can be added and we'll end up having cos 2x to be equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x, like that. So I can replace now, I can clearly see that cos has disappeared. I only have sine now. I can place the whole of this with what I have there. Okay? Now, I didn't just want us to go direct. I have to show you where this identity is coming from. So, what I'm going to do now is... I'll replace cos 2x with 1 minus 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x minus 2 is equal to 0. 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. So I'll have negative 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x. This is going to give me 1. This and that have been added. It's like I have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Okay. The next thing what I'm going to do is, I'm going, this is equal to 0. I'll shift 1 to the other side, negative 1 to the other side negative 2 sine squared x 3 sine x will be equal to 1 like that so the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going now to factor out sine okay I'm going to factor out sine that's what I'm going to do so the best thing what we can do is if I factor out sine x I'll remain with negative 2 sine x because this is sine squared plus here I'll remain with 3 only to be equal to 1. So I'll say this is equal to 1 and what is in the brackets equal to 1 as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do I'll say sine x is equal to 1. Again get what is in the brackets negative 2 sine x plus 3 should be equal to 1. 
shift 3 to the other side negative 2 sin x is equal to 1 minus 2 okay negative 2 sin x is equal to this is going to give me negative 1 so the next thing I'm going to divide both sides by oh it's going to be negative 1 yes I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 both sides by negative 1 so the next thing what I'm going to have is I'm going to have uh, this is 3 this here is 3 when I shift this 3 here this is 3 so 1 minus 3 is negative 2 so I'm supposed to say negative 2 divided by negative 2 it will be sine x is equal to 1 again so I'll get the same answer for that and that so what is sine 1 sine 1 <coughs> is 90 so I'll say x is equal to 90 degrees now this 90 is 1 is positive meaning sine is positive all student take chamber sign is positive in the first and the second quadrant so in the first quadrant I'll say X is equal to 90 to be my answer I got the second quadrant in the second quadrant we are supposed to say 180 minus 90 which is the same again which is 90 so the only solution here is X should be equal to 90 degrees as simple as that so that is what we have so the answer for this question is the answer is only 90 degrees but the question didn't specify whether we are supposed to put the answer in lard or in degrees so I've just leave this answer in degrees if you want you can convert it to lard where you say x will be equal to pi over 2 as 90 because pi over 2 is 90 Okay, so you can either report your answer to be x is equal to 90 degrees or x is equal to pi over 2. As simple as that.